Sanchez Terrell and this is Roscoe the Pug and we're going to show you quickly how you can use Listly for collaboration and collaborative bookmarking. So we're going to get off of our camera and screen share with you. So first you want to go to your Listly account and that's um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go to list.ly and Listly is a great way to do collaborative bookmarking. And one of the reasons why is because Listly is the only one that allows anyone to add to a bookmark um, uh, or a list here. And that's what they call them. It looks a little like Pinterest as well. So you can see a lot of people's pins on the front page. So we went to list.ly and then we go to join Listly. If you don't have an account, you can sign in with Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Google+. Now remember, the one that you sign in with, because then you're going to keep creating accounts in all of these, and that sometimes happens with me. So I'm going to go ahead, and I remember that I signed in with Facebook. So I already know that it has a Listly account for me. So you can see all the boards that I have made at the top. If you go, you can see your picture and you can click your list and it will allow you uh, to see all the lists that you've made. Now it also ranks you as well but you don't need to know any of that. The reason why we're using Listly for our particular MOOC is because it would be very difficult to add 500 of you to contribute and we want you to be part of your learning process and we know since you're educators that you find incredible resources and materials as well. So if you are just going, then all you need to do, um, you need to follow the ebook, um, the e ebook, e ebook ebo. And so I'm going to go ahead and go under my followers, and under my followers, I see e textbook ebo. Now you can always go to list.ly and then ebook percent twenty evil, or it might even work if you do the underscore, uh, if you do a space. You can also find this on our Google Plus page and our PB Works page. You can see here what were all of the bookmarks uh, that we have. And you can now contribute to any board because you have a Listly account. So you can also like any of the boards. So let's say that I wanted to add my um, something to ebook design resources. Well, uh, then I could go. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and I am going to go to the ebook. I know I'll, I'll do this. The ebook. So you can go to any of these, and then you just go to click add list. When you click add to list, you have the choice to do an item with a link or an item with no link. That means that you could add text, you could um, write people's names, um, if you wanted to collect different types of um, names, reminders, a to-do list or something, you could do that as well. Now, the easiest thing to do is to actually use this at the top called a bookmarklet. If you put the bookmarklet and you drag it up here, then you're going to be able to do some very cool things with it. For example, so I just put the add to Listly. Okay, so now it's going to, it took me to there, so now I put this add to Listly. And I'm going to right click this because I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm going to right click in and edit. I'm on Chrome browser right now though, but it will tell you how to do it for um, everything, even a mobile device. Um, and then I can change the name. I can say Listly or plus Listly if I want to do the add to Listly. And then I can click save. And you can do that with any of your bookmarklets, by the way. So why would I want to do that? Because now we're going to go to the front page. And let's say, now I just made some changes on the crafting the e-perfect textbook. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to put that in one of the lists. So I will go. Now you have to follow the Evo, the ebook Evo first, and you have to follow the list that you want to contribute to. So I'm going to check my list. So you see this nice little box that pops up, and then I can go down and I can scroll down, 
and at the very bottom is where you're going to see list you follow. So I'm going to add that to, let's say that I just, uh, for this reason, I add it to, um, let's go ahead and put it on Listly Tutorials. And then I click on List It. And then I wait. And then I can click on this or close it. But I'm going to click on that. Okay, and the reason I'm going to click on that so you can see now I have added the list leaf, and here it is. It, it's right up there. So you can you can see everybody. Uh, Mariana added one, and the great thing about it is that anyone can add to it. There are other really cool things that you can do with Listly as well. So let's say that I'm going to go back, and I'm going to add this again and this time I'm gonna add it to let's see I scroll down really fast uh, we'll do Google Plus tutorials and then let's say I don't like this image let's say that that isn't, isn't the image that I want well, one of the things you can do with Listly is if you click image on the bottom you can either upload one from your computer or this is my favorite option here I go to web images and I can click let's say it was a math resource so I click on math, and then it gives me little icons that I can use. So if this is, I like that one a lot, I'll say that. It even has it for Instagram and Flickr, and now it has a really pretty logo. One of the other great things about Listly, why I like it a lot, is because, you see here, I it automatically uploads a description. So if you, when you it's one of the only curation tools that does that. It automatically fills this in for you. You can add tags. You can do all sorts of things with it. And that's one of the reasons I really like Listly. Another reason why I like Listly, let's go back to here. Now, Listly Tutorials. Let's say I want to make that much prettier. Well, actually, I'm going to have to go to this one. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, let's see, pre-task for the Listly. So our pre-task looked kind of ugly. At, oh, no. Actually, it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. That was a bad example. Okay. So we're going to go to, I bet Google Plus maybe doesn't have one. Hmm. Okay. So I want to add a heading image to make this look nicer. You can also embed images. Um, I mean, you can embed the listlies to your you can embed the listlies as well so that's one thing I do like as well so now we're gonna look on you can connect to your Instagram and add an Instagram you can connect to your Dropbox your Evernote or you can even take a picture it'll let you take a snapshot as well and since you can use this on the mobile um, on a mobile device that could be very useful as well now I'm trying to do a Google Plus is what those tutorials are so I'm gonna search for Google Plus to find an appropriate image. That's my header. Um, they give me a list of options. I can scroll down, find the one that they really think is cool. And then I can choose that, and then that will be my picture. So I'm going to go ahead and go back up. And I think that I might choose, I kind of like that one. That one's pretty. So I will upload that. And there you go. You can center, you can put the top, the bottom, the left, the right faces. Um, and then you can save that. So I'm going to save that, and that's now our image. One of the best things I like about Listly, too, is if you do a Twitter list, it's very useful. And we have our ebook Evo Twitter list. So I'm going to go back to our home page. And if you look at the Twitter list, then you will see how on the Twitter list, I did a nice picture, but the great thing is when you add the Twitter, now you can quickly go and you can follow all of our, all the people that are in our session. So not only can you add your name to this list, but you can follow everyone quickly. You just scroll and keep clicking. Um, you read all their profiles and bios and everything like that, and then you just can keep adding them and adding them. So that's another really great thing about Listly as well. Um, you can embed them as well. You can share them. So if you wanted to embed them, you could do that. 
Um, you get the, I use the gallery style, uh, so that way it looks kind of like Pinterest, and that's why you see that. But you could always do this as well. You could make it into just a list, like it looks on the website. Or this one's a really cool option. I think you could use for your students, where it's a magazine. So it kind of reads like a big magazine. Um, or you can have minimal, or it just does everything like that. Or you can have where it just has the header. So you have a lot of different options. You use copy and paste you, the embed code. You can invite specific friends to the list if you want certain people to know about the list too as well. But anybody can add to it. You can go to, um, you, can, you can also save different things as well. You can share it all kinds of things. So that was just a really quick overview of Listly. You don't have to join it, but one of the reasons we want you to do it is because afterwards we want you to be able to pin your posts um, and, and, and your different types of chapters as well. So we'd like to be able to showcase your work. So if you would um, be interested, we would love to have you uh, join Listly, but it is not mandatory. So hopefully that helps you out. Um, and you can find a lot more if you go to the wiki page, you'll see Listly tutorials.